Welcome back to The Wasteland, my friends. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to play Fallout 1 and Fallout 2 using an Android device and a Windows laptop or any Windows computer. If you are on an iPhone and not an Android, um, this video will still help you. It's going to just teach you the fundamentals, the basics. If you're on Android, it's going to teach you everything. But if you're on iPhone, it'll actually probably give you a step up and how to download it. But I also, I'm going to put a link in the description of this video to the website that's going to show you how to do it. For Android users, you're going to want to download this app. It's called fallout2.exe. It's just fo2.exe. And you're going to look it up in the Play Store and you're going to download this. Super simple. Get it downloaded. This isn't my normal setup, so I had to use my phone to record the computer, so don't worry about this. But I'm on GOG. You're going to click Fallout 2 and you're going to install it. On GOG, you're going to have to install the offline version because um, I doubt it would work with the normal version because it's not, you know, all the game data and all that. So just download Fallout 2. Either way, on Steam or GOG, download Fallout 2. It's top one, uh, Fallout 2 for modern operating, all that. This is going to be the instructions for all of this. Um, I'm just going in depth with the video just because it's a lot easier. And for me, this took forever. With a video, I hope it works a lot faster for y'all. But mad props to the people who did this. They are absolutely amazing. But that's, you know, all the download stuff. And I'll put a link in the description of this video. But we're going to go to this one right here where it says Fallout 2 slash CE Community Edition is what it stands for. It's going to tell you all this. Um, I'm kind of illiterate with technology, so I just kind of ignore it all. But right here, assets. This is what you're going to choose depending on what you're downloading. If you're going to do it on iOS, do the iOS one up there um, on the second one. But if you're going to be on Windows like me, you're going to do Windows and then Android. So Windows first. Alrighty, so what you want to do first is ignore the Android APK. We already got the app for iOS users. When you try to download Fallout 2 iOS.IPA, it's not going to let you. You're going to, it'll be like error, but don't worry. That's part of the whole thing of setting it up. You're just going to follow the link that I have in the description of this video. And for you monkeys who can't understand things like me, iOS is Apple. Alrighty, so now what you're gonna download is the Windows. I don't know which is better, the Buy64 or the Buy86. I'm an idiot, I don't know. I did 86 because it's bigger, so you guys, if you know more than me, do that, whatever you think is better, but download whatever one works best for you on Windows, that's what I did, and um, we'll get to the next part. Everything we have done up to this point, it says Fallout 2, right? Everything. So Fallout 2, CE, Android, all of that. If you want to download Fallout 1, you just take the 2 out of that. You just take Fallout, CE, and then you just do the exact same things I've been doing previously. And that's how you're going to download Fallout 1. So it's going to be like the same link, except it's not going to be um, Fallout 2. It'll be Fallout 1, but the same website and all that. So now that we have Fallout 2 or 1 downloaded, either one, in your computer, you're gonna drag the Windows um, CE thing that I told you to download, that little smaller one. You're gonna drag that to the folder of whatever Fallout. So if you have the Fallout2.ce, you're gonna drag it to the Fallout2 folder, Fallout1.ce, you're gonna drag it to the Fallout1. It's not gonna say Fallout1, it's just Fallout, but you know what I'm trying to say here. And then you're gonna copy whatever folder after that little thing is downloaded into it, the CE, and then you're gonna bring it to your phone. I just copied, went to my phone, my phone's called PipPad Pro. I went to the SD card in case my phone ever breaks and I wanna save my Fallout data, so I'm putting it in an SD card so it'll be safer. And then you're going to move it to the folder that you have in your phone for Fallout. I recommend creating a folder. You don't have to. You can just put it in any folder, to be honest with you. But um, I recommend making a Fallout folder so it's easier to find. All right, now you're going to open the app that I told you to get in the very first part, the Fallout2.exe. Install whatever Fallout you're choosing. I didn't do Fallout 2 because I already did that. Setup type, you're going to go to Folder. And then you're going to click Browse. And then you'll be able to browse what folders are on your phone. At first I went to PipPad Pro, which is just my phone, but I needed to go to the SD card, so I clicked the three bars up there to SD card, went to files on my SD card, and then I clicked Fallout 1, which is the file I named for Fallout 1, obviously. And then I clicked use this folder, agree, and then you, and you're gonna click continue on the bottom right there, and it's gonna copy it all and get it ready for you. I went ahead and sped this part up. It shouldn't take that long, depending on how new or old your phone is. Um, if it's older, obviously it's probably gonna take longer. Mine downloaded in under a minute though. Installation successful, nice. So now we can click play and it's gonna just be like, boom. There you have it. You can play Fallout 1 and Fallout 2 on your phone. Super awesome and definitely dope. You can click the little settings bar and then pull up a bunch of settings if you want, stretch the screen, however you wanna do this, set it up for yourself. Um, and then you can also do the high res mod. I stretched the screen right here, it was dumb. Um, I'm gonna show you how to do the high res mod now.
Alrighty, this goes for everyone, Apple, Android, however you're doing it. You got the settings thing, it's gonna let you go through these settings. I did high res mod, it's gonna be like enable. You can click however you want this to be. I still have to fiddle with mine to get it perfect. Um, to be honest though, I'm not really sure how this works, but you can ch do that and it'll change how your screen you know, changes, make it wider, all of that good stuff. So now you're gonna load a game just like you would if you're playing normal Fallout. If you don't know how to play normal Fallout, I'm doing a little crash course right here. You click what load you wanna do, um, some of these are empty. It's kind of hard to do this, right? Because you can see how small this is on the phone. You're going to click load. Um, now to do stuff, you're going to move it around either with the um, by touching it. And then also you, you're you going to be dragging the little cursor. The numbers tab right there on the left, um, it's going to be like the numbers, the keyboard. Then there's the settings, which we already showed you. And then the very top um, on the left corner, top left corner, that's going to be exiting the game. Top right corner. It's going to be the loading game and then saving game. And then um, the rest is going to be, you know, this is how we move around that little top, the bottom right. That thing will choose how you move around. So you want to go up and down and stuff. You, you, you'll understand what I'm trying to say when you mess with it. It'll make a lot more sense. That's how you're going to move your screen around. Um, right here is the on the bottom left is the mouse thing. It's going to choose what you want to do. If you want to point, if you want to shoot, if you want to walk, that kind of stuff. And then to move stuff, you're just going to click and drag them. Um, you know, it's pretty simple. Just click and drag it around and then you can you know, use the mouse to read it and stuff. Do all the descriptions like that. Like I said, sometimes the cursor you have to drag it to click things. Also, you can also just click like buttons. So right here, I tried to drag it and then click it, but I couldn't do that. So I had to just click it manually. And it can be kind of hard with a big old finger. I don't really have a big finger, but you know, if you do, it's going to be kind of rough for you. You can drag as much as you want, but sometimes you just have to straight up click it. I tried to drag and click it here and it actually worked. I tried dragging and clicking it here didn't work so I had to just manually click that button and then here is where you can you know load the game save the game do all that kind of stuff go to preferences but you just you know normal stuff Fallout 1 if you've ever played Fallout 1 this is how you save and load and all that um, preferences is just your settings so that's that and uh, I just hope you all like this video if you did please give me a like if you didn't let me know what I could have done better give me a subscribe if you want to see more Fallout stuff I'm definitely going to be making Fallout 1 and 2 content now that I can actually play it um, especially on my phone because that's just going to be dope. I hope you all enjoyed everything about this Fallout 1 and 2 are the goats. So y'all have a great one. Thank you all so much for watching and may the wasteland treat you with peace and prosperity.